Hey guys, this is Rad and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. As you can see today, I have a new one command creation from the machine behind me. And this is a special command requested by popular MMOs. This is why you have probably seen some references to Patent Gen on the thumbnail of this video. But anyways, I want to show you guys what I have created today with only two commands. Now, this is a 40,000 characters long command and it was coded in about 8 or 10 hours, something like this. If you want to get the items, you just right click on this sign and let's get started. So as you saw from the title of this video, guys, I have created the smallest Minecraft cinema ever and it's not just a small cinema but it's a functional Minecraft small cinema so basically you have the small structure it works similarly to what I have created some time ago with the smallest Minecraft house and the smallest Minecraft uh, hunted house in Minecraft I will leave some cards appearing on the screen if you want to see them but anyways basically you have this spawn egg and all you have to do is to place it down in your world somewhere in your world and it will basically generate this really small cinema structure. So, as you can see, I have posted this image a couple of days ago on Twitter, and you guys guessed that it was a cinema. So, I took inspiration for this structure from the LEGO cinema set, and I will leave probably a, an image on the screen after when I will edit this video. And basically, you can see that it is similar to uh, that image. Anyways, it is just a normal corner cinema, and it's really, really small. You can compare it relative to me, and you can see that it's really small. Now, the special thing about this one is that if I go inside this door, I will basically be teleported inside the actual cinema inside it and I will be able to watch a mini movie that I made. If you guys were wondering why I didn't show you how you can import this machine into your world at the start of the video, I will just do it later at the end of the video. So anyways, let's get inside this cinema. All you have to do is to just walk in the door and yeah, we got basically shrinked inside and basically now we are inside the cinema you can see it's a bit dark because this is how a cinema should be and i i hope that you guys can see it but anyways if you want to go out from it you, you just have to go through this door here and as you can see you just exit it if i go in the, uh, thir third person mode you can see that i can enter and to exit it doesn't work on this door you will have to go in the opposite door here and you will be basically one thing that you guys have to know before summoning one of these mini cinemas is that you need to be at height uh, at least 65 blocks from the bedrock level so you just press f3 and you can see here 70 this is my current height if i go up it increases and make sure that this number is at least 65 because otherwise basically the way it works it generates a room down there under the ground and if you are on a really low level basically the structure will be generated at levels that are lower than the bedrock level meaning that blocks are not to be placed there so basically you will be just teleported in the void and you will die so make sure that you are at at least y equals 65 now let's go inside and the first thing that you can see well maybe you can see it it's a really small button here if we press it basically we will be able to turn the cinema on the cinema screen on and that's what i'm going to do it will lag just a bit at the start and you will see a minecart going like in a in, in in an infinite loop and basically here we have we have pattern gen running from these blazes now one thing that you can notice is that there is Jan, but Pat looks like a uh, Alex skin, and I have no idea what I did wrong while uh, when setting the command blocks. I know that Pat's in-game name is Furious Destroyer, and I I did it. I basically wrote Furious Destroyer, but Minecraft won't show his skin. We have only Jan, and I really hope that they can fix it. Maybe he changed the name. I have no idea. Maybe you guys can help me. And uh, yeah, basically we have Pat and Jan here just. Pretend that this Alex skin guy is Pat and I have to turn the volume down because these blazes are making a lot of noise and this is basically the mini movie that I have created. Now, this is not only a normal movie that you can watch and that's it, but you can basically interact with this movie. You can see that Jen is holding a bow in her hand and she's also moving around. She's moving and aiming around at these blazes. Now you can see that I have a stack of arrows in my inventory. What happens if I drop one? Basically, Jen will, uh, yeah, will shoot an arrow depending on the direction that she is facing. So there are five different dire directions where these arrows can be shot, and you can see that they are shot with different angles and also with different speeds. And basically, your objective is to kill as many of these blazes as you can with one stack of this arrow. So let's see what I can do. I will probably speed up this part of the video and I want to see how many of these blazes I can kill with one stack of arrow. And maybe you guys, you can let me know in the comment section down below what was your score. One. Two. 
25 and that's it I killed exactly 25 blazes using 64 arrows in this mini game in the cinema so guys that was it basically it about today's one comment creation I really hope that you enjoyed it if you did so don't forget to drop a really big fat thumbs up under it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already now I'm gonna switch off the screen and if you do it basically pat and gen will disappear if you turn it on again pat and gen will appear again also guys if you find in a, in the code if you f just search for uh gaming with gen or furious destroyer you can change the in-game names with your name or the name of your friends and basically you can have your heads appearing uh instead of pats and gen's heads in the minecart so i'm gonna go out and if you want to remove one of these houses you just go close to them and you type this command kill at e type equals armor stand r equals five and then you hit enter and the house will disappear and actually oh there is also another armor stand here so you go in this corner and you type this command again and that's it all the entities are removed and basically the cinema will not work anymore one thing is that you can also you can also have multiple cinemas in the same world but if you want to do that just make sure that they are far away from each other at least like 60 or 70 blocks away from each other and in this case you will not have any problem oh my god <laughs> we have some spectators here they just want to see the movie all right there we go now i made you happy you can see pat and jan uh, how should i call how should i title this movie let me know guys a title for this movie in the comment section down below and i will pin the one that i liked more anyways now I'm going to show you guys how you can import this machine into your world. It's really simple. You just give yourself a command block, typing in chat this command, give it to me command underscore block, and you will get a command block into your inventory. This is a two command creation, meaning that you have to place two command blocks, one on top of the other. Then you go on my webpage, which is linked in the description of this video. You paste the first command that you find on the page on the bottom command block, and you paste with control plus V, the second command on the upper command block, and you activate only the bottom one after you paste both the commands and you can see that the machine will be generated in just a few seconds and well well maybe more than uh, just a couple of seconds if i am lagging and if you want to remove it or activate or deactivate you press these signs if you want to remove it you just right click on that sign and the machine is gone so that was it guys about today's video and i really hope that i'll see you all in the next one i will see if i can bring another one comment creation this saturday so stay tuned guys bye